All right, we'll do one more and then we'll call it an afternoon. And this is just a quick little fun one. So this is a seborrheic keratosis, right? Acanthosis, corn pseudocysts. What happened to this seb? What's wrong with it? It's dead, right? Totally dead. You can tell because you can see the ghost outlines of individual keratinocytes, but their nuclei aren't purple anymore. And when you when you when a cell dies, the first thing to go away is its nucleus dissolves. The nucleic acids get broken down, and that's what makes the nucleus purple is the nucleic acids that bind to the, the hematoxylin, right? That makes them purple. So the first thing is the nuclei go away. The pink stuff is the the um, proteins, and the proteins are strong you know, cables basically, long chains of amino acids, they take a lot longer to break down. And so that's why in, in coagulative necrosis, you have basically ghost outlines of the cells for a while until it eventually gets broken down by the body. But as you guys figured out, this is a, a seb that was frozen. So someone said, let's hard freeze that seb with liquid nitrogen. And then um, a day or two later, uh, the patient, I can't remember exactly how many days, a couple of days later, I think the patient probably had second thoughts about it when it became very swollen and painful and, and came back in and said, you know, please take this off. And so then it was shaved, removed. But the, uh, the history was not initially given, but we knew right away without being told the history that this clearly is a seb that, that died instantly by death by freezing, okay? And ischemia, the, the reason this, this is a fun, fun case, just because it's kind of cool when you can figure out the history, right, by the pattern. But you can tell this happened really quickly because look, the corneal layer is like basket weave, right? It's totally normal corneal layer. The horn pseudocysts are totally normal. They don't even have any para in them. If a seb gets um, infarcted, if it's like one of those pedunculated ones, it gets kind of twisted on itself, part or all of the seb can die and get necrotic. Um, if the seb gets, you know, um, uh, gets really inflamed, part of it can die. Um, but in those situations where you have kind of a longer time till death, you start to get reactive, glassy looking keratinocytes. You get parakeratosis that starts building up sometimes in the horn pseudocysts or on the surface. You get reactive changes. Here, this thing is just a perfect ghost of a regular old seb. And so that's how we know it died quickly. And the other thing that causes quick death like this is acute ischemia. And so even though that's obviously not going to cause death in a seb, recognizing this pattern of a totally ghosted out epidermis, that right there is a hugely super important derm path skill that every derm path should know. And in fact, every general pathologist should know. And I gave that lecture I was talking about earlier that I gave a lecture for, for the CAP and it was about dermatology urgencies and emergencies. And many of those involve acute ischemia things like DIC and, and coagulation issues where people get blocked blood vessels, calciphylaxis, things that can block off blood flow and cause death in the skin or angioinvasive fungus recognizing that pattern of ischemia is so important because it tells you something caused us to die instantly. And in the case of uh, skin, you know, in, uh, in those situations I talked about, it usually is a vaso-occlusive process. And that's often a very serious emergency issue that needs to be dealt with right away. So recognizing the pattern of, wow, the skin died right away is really important. But freezing injury will cause that same kind or really bad thermal injury can cause similar patterns where the whole, the whole tissue just dies right away and leaves you this. And you can also see the dermis is very edematous. The papillary dermis in between, where there used to be papillary dermis, is all edema, and the whole thing is just kind of lifted away. And obviously now it's becoming inflamed secondarily, but the inflammation came after the, the lesion was frozen. So I just think that's kind of a fun case. I've seen this before, but this was the best example of a, a nice big seb that was taken off that had clearly been frozen. And, and I applaud the dermatologists who did it because they froze that thing good. I mean, it is, it is all dead. They, they got it. I think they even got some, the dermis is like mostly dead too. They're a little couple fragments. So, so well done, um, whoever froze. And also for doing the nice big shave biopsy for us to enjoy. So um, that's a, a cryo frozen uh, seborrheic keratosis.